Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I'm gonna be talking about the uh, the positives and the negatives of being trans. So there's gonna be five for each. So there's gonna be five positives and five negatives. So I'm just gonna get started. The first positive about being trans is you get to be happy. You get to be yourself. You get to be comfortable in your own body once you go through the transition. If you want to, that is different from person to person. The second reason is that you become more open-minded. Like, I personally, I became more open-minded, but again, that's different from person to person. So, you, the third reason is that you get introduced to a whole other community of other trans people and allies and people that respect you and support you, which I think is f fucking mind-blowing when I came out first, is this whole other community of people that feel the same way as you do. That's crazy to me. Like, my mind was blown. It was so weird. And... <laughs> the fourth reason is the amazing love and support, as I was talking about, and the third reason, the fourth reason the amazing love and support you get is that your family supports you, there's a lot of friends that support you, everyone supports you, people that relate to you, other trans people will support you and like celebrate with you when you get to a new milestone. So yeah, and the fifth is that you can go find your own style again. Me for example, I'm what you would call an FTM, which means like female to male. You know, so I want to transition from a female to a male, which means I got a more like loose clothing style. Like, for I'm wearing joggers today, for example, and I'm wearing like combat boots and stuff because that's my new style. And when I was a girl, I wore kind of the same outfits, just in like a different sense of <laughs> yeah, so yeah, but I think. And I've also heard from my like, friends and family that I'm much more polite and I'm much more stylish and I dress myself nicer and I I act happier than I used to like before I came out. So the negatives of being trans is like the first reason is the hate that you get from so many people. So many people will like beat you down to the ground and say that you aren't valid or you aren't real or this is just a phase or it's just, it's painful. And it runs on your psyche and it runs on your mental health. So much to the point where many trans teenagers and older trans people commit suicide or they self-harm or they do something self-destructive because people are hating on them. People are beating them down every single day, every single hour. So many people are killing themselves. So many trans people are killing themselves. Which is mind-blowing. And it's sad. In many ways, it, it's really depressing to see that the hate can get to someone that quickly and that there's so much hate about it. <laughs> the second is um, dead naming, which like a dead name is basically when you transition you get you pick your own name again. So for me, I change, well I chose to name myself Yepe, which is a very common Danish name and like Scandinavian name. So my birth name is what you would call a dead name at this stage, where I haven't legally changed my name to Yebe yet, but my old name is no more. Like, of course, in all my papers and my bus card and all that, it still says my birth name, my actual real name, but I don't use that anymore. And when people dead name you, it hurts so much. That is also part of like, the hate that you get, that people refuse to acknowledge that you changed your name, which is just, it's so, it's, it's, pissing me off. It really it really ticks on you. It's like little it's like 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 transport people like little ticks that just like kinda like stick to your body everywhere and it's so annoying. They just need to go away, like far away from me and like all my friends. Even though I don't know a lot of trans people, they're still my friends because we can relate on a personal level almost. Which is awesome. The negative of being trans is uh, broken relationships. I had a best friend that broke up with me, I had a boyfriend that broke up with me because I came out as trans to him and all he said was just, well, I'm not gay, and I just kind of left it at that. So, yeah. So broken relationships happen a lot. You lose friends, you lose, you lose, like, relationships, you lose, you lose a lot by coming out as trans, but you also gain a lot. You gain a lot of happiness, you gain a lot of new friends. The fourth uh, negative of being trans is that you don't have many in your own like personal close friend circle that can relate. Like I don't have a lot of trans friends here in Denmark. 
I have like two people that I text now and then because they live so far away, but none of my uh, sis friends know what I'm talking about. I have a best friend that's sis, and she's awesome. I love her so much. Shout out to her. If she ever watches this, you know who you are. <laughs> so you are awesome. You are appreciated, and remember that for fuck's sake. Often, many times, you don't have a lot of people in your own friend circle that can relate to the struggles you're going through, to your transition, to everything related, really. The fifth negative of being trans is society standards. I came out as transgender to, I did it on Facebook actually, just a big block of, um, of a status update. It's like, hey guys, I'm trans. And I told my family that didn't have Facebook and told my friends that didn't have Facebook, because I actually do have some of those. So yeah, and society standards will also beat you down a lot, and again, refer to number one on the negatives of being trans. <laughs> that society has this expectation that you kind of need to live up to, if you feel like society, if you feel like living by society's rules. I don't. Uh, fuck society. We need society, of course, but society is so broken these days. It's so broken. Look how smart I sound. I'm only 16. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. What? <laughs> So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, whatever you feel like, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.